Once upon a time, there was a super adorable, funny, hilarious, and smart villain in the Sims 4 community who goes by the name of Plumbella. And Plumbella has created a build challenge so torturous that only the bravest of builders have attempted it. The community has spoken and nominated me as her next victim. Despite my fear, I have no choice at this point but to oblige. That was a joke, by the way. Sometimes I really can't tell if we got that across. I also messed around a little too hard with the lighting in my room on this video, so apologies. This is the build challenge we're gonna be trying today. Plumbella has literally titled it the most devilish build challenge yet. This is the website that Plumbella used for the challenge and basically whatever this thing spits out is what we have to build. Apparently it always has one bad thing at least on here, but if I had to guess, it's all gonna be bad. <laughs> Not only will we probably have a style, a color scheme, a number of sims, but we also have a budget, which is very random, and we have to spend all of it. Every penny is gonna be a nightmare. Okay, three is my lucky number. I'm gonna randomize it three times, not including this time. So we're gonna go one, two, three. Oh God. So this is what we have to build today. It says the building style of your house is ultra modern. Hmm. Not my fave. And your color theme will be your most favorite colors. We got lucky with that, honestly. I'll take that as a gift. It'll have two floors and 13 rooms. That's a lot of rooms. And your budget for this build is 37,518 simoleons exactly. It houses three sims and your disadvantage for this build is that you cannot use any cheats. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. Good luck, babe, XOXO, Plumbella, you know, okay. So a quick little look on Pinterest here. This is what's showing up for an ultra modern home exterior. We're gonna have tons of different angles going on. A lot of neutral colors, it looks like. We're going for kind of abstract, but blocky at the same time. And we have to keep in mind, we need 13 rooms in here. Where should we build for ultra modern? I think I might build here on this lot in Brightchester. I really like the lighting here. And we're starting out with a grave on my lot. I literally just moved this sim in so I could set the budget and we've already got a death. So off to a really good start. Okay, what was my budget again? This is the only cheat that I'm able to use, I think, because I have to set this exactly. So we're gonna do 37,518 simoleons and set. Other than that, I cannot use like bb.move objects, no debug today. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, let's get started here. So whenever I have a budget build challenge, I tend to spend way too much on the exterior. Like 37,000 is a lot of money in The Sims, but we're by no means safe here. I'm definitely going to get to a point where I have to like keep the budget in mind. So I'm using these walls as decor here. I think I might use platforms as my roofing. Like maybe we can bring it out even further past the walls. I am totally building this backwards. We can maybe do a half wall balcony here and like do do a little bit of this, maybe punch out a little bit here. Keeping in mind that 13 rooms in one house is still a lot. Like how are we doing on the interior here? <laughs> We're gonna need to make it bigger. I'll warn you guys, they're probably gonna end up being very small rooms depending on how much like room we actually have. Okay, I think this is gonna be my shelf for now. I've almost already spent 10,000. I might have to shrink this if we can to save some money. And also this lamp post is going to die. You're right in my way. Okay, I moved here to Oasis Springs. I'm so sorry to this sim, by the way, we lost your father's grave. <laughs> sorry. I did not think the hardest part about this would be me picking my favorite color scheme, but thinking about it, I really do love pastels and color. That's kind of like my whole thing. If we're not going really dark, like all black, we're going pastel color central. So let's do that. Ultra modern meets pastel. It's going to be kind of like a Barbie mansion. It's definitely going to be a lot more challenging, but that's okay. So I'm using all pink as my base here. And what if we went in with like an orange as well? She's feeling risky today. Okay, let's get some windows on here. I think I want this middle part here to be really open. Like I think I want to go in with windows like this, or we could try the growing together ones, but they are a lot more expensive, but they do look cool. Then we'll maybe use an eco lifestyle door and maybe 
maybe we'll only splurge on those windows. So for the other ones, we'll just use good old cheap eco lifestyle. I need a glass door up here. I've got some windows going on in the back and I need a door for a patio or something. Okay. I raised everything up on platforms and I'm just gonna add a fence here to this bottom part. I would normally use flooring coming down here, but we're gonna try and find some cheap terrain paint. Just bringing it like down like this. And now I can start to do my landscaping. Oh my gosh, the move objects has claimed its first very annoying thing. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna be going for like a sand style landscaping so that we can do minimal. I mean, we are in a desert. I'm just gonna do like a little strip down like this. It literally hurts my heart to leave landscaping so bare. It's like my least favorite thing about builds is when they have no landscaping, but I've spent way over budget that I should have on the outside here. This is what we ended up with our pastel modern exterior. Not much to show, honestly. I did put some stuff on the balcony. I used this table here from Eco Lifestyle and one thing I learned is that a lot of the cheaper items from Eco Lifestyle are in debug, which I can't use. So this is what the front looks like. And then around to the back is even more sad. If I have money, I will come back out here, but I added this umbrella table with a couple of chairs, a barbecue, a trash can. Maybe we can add a little more going on with some sand terrain paint, but like this is as much as we're gonna have going on. Okay, let's go inside. We need to figure out a layout with 13 rooms. <laughs> One thing I know for sure is that when I have windows at the front like this, I really like it when you can see the stairs from the outside. So I'm gonna add those, we'll wrap it around, and I can't place it right next to the window because no move objects, but I will put it like right here. So now we can see the stairs from the outside, it at least adds a little something happening. And for our first room, I'm gonna do something weird and completely section that off. So that back there is gonna be room one. We can do like laundry in there, maybe a closet. I think the next obvious step would be to section that off. We'll split this into, I don't know what that's gonna be. Maybe we can split that as well. We do like a bathroom right here, maybe. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Then upstairs, we know we have three Sims, so we need three bedrooms. So I'm gonna do one there. That's seven, eight, nine, and 10. Then we can maybe split that. What are we at? This is 12. I need one more room. So maybe we give this bedroom a bathroom. It's not gonna be the biggest thing ever, but we're gonna have an ensuite there. And there we go, 13 rooms. I feel like the size of this house was perfect, but now I only have 18,000 and simoleons left. I think what I'm gonna do for the interior is actually open everything up with archways. We're still going for ultra modern on the interior somehow, so I'm using these from Eco Lifestyle. Then upstairs, I'm using these cheap doors from Seasons. I'm gonna try and go real minimal with the lighting, so like one light per room is what we're getting. And for flooring and wallpaper, we're going real cheap too. Ooh, Eco Lifestyle is only four simoleons, thank goodness. We have to keep the pastel color scheme going the whole way through. So there we go. That's gonna be our flooring and our wallpaper. And the main floor plan is going to be bathroom here, foyer slash seating area, living room, laundry slash cleaning, kitchen, dining. And then upstairs, we're gonna do a main hallway, a bedroom, a bathroom, a bedroom, maybe an office, bathroom and another bedroom. All right, so I think for this room here with the door attached, I've sized up a rug here from high school years. You don't need any cheats to be able to do that or to alt place things, but as you can see, I'm limited in where I can put it. I need some cheap chairs that are gonna take up a lot of room. So I've got a coffee table there from Dream Home Decorator and I'm gonna take these two chairs and I'm just gonna put them together to make a cheap couch. We need a bookshelf to go on the one wall. I'm gonna use one of these new ones here with all the colors in them. I'm gonna use a big plant, even though that's a little pricey. There is no way I'm meeting this budget. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna skip this room for a minute. We're gonna go and spend the money where we need to. On things like toilets, we're gonna get a really cheap toilet. Screw toilet paper. We'll do a cheap sink and maybe a mirror like that. I get the feeling that this would be like a house for an adult sim that you've been playing with for a little while. Like they've gotten through their young adulthood, they've saved up a little money, but they're still not quite there yet. Like they've got some money to spend, but they're not breaking the bank yet. And maybe for a little decoration in here, we can go in with these pots, just with a couple plants on there. So at least we have something. Maybe we could also put a cheap candle in here. I didn't know that these clipped so easily onto the bathtub. Okay, bathroom for now. We have everything we need, bathtub, sink, 
toilet. A little sad, but there she is. I'm gonna skip across to the kitchen on this floor. I'm gonna delete this window so that I can put my appliances. So we're gonna be using a cheap fridge. These cheap counters here. <laughs> we're gonna do a sink there. My oven can go on this side, which actually, what if we use that one there? You can only cook a few things on there, but I actually really like that item. I think it's adorable. We need a smoke detector and maybe I'll just put back a smaller window here so we're not cutting it off. Can I hide a trash can in there? We're good. I can fit a plant over on this side. I'm also having a really hard time putting things on the wall without move objects. I have platforms on this build and I feel like something is not right. Something is definitely wrong here. What the... But okay, here's my kitchen for now. Again, we're gonna come back and clutter. Oh, this could be a cute item to take up space. I'm gonna put that in my seating room. And for dining, I think I wanna use this big table here from Discovery University. And I'm gonna use these chairs from high school years. They're only 45 simoleons. And I need a really big, cheap rug. Oh, actually we could probably get away with this one here from high school years. Lumbella was not kidding. This is a hard challenge. I can see why you guys wanted me to try this. All right, we're gonna find another cheap plant, put that in the corner. We'll add some cute candles. And what do we have for cheap decor? Oh, eco lifestyle hall table. For now, this is gonna have to do. This is so sad. Okay, we have dining. We have our kitchen. The only room I haven't put anything in yet is this middle one. And this is where I wanted to have my TV. Even if I get a cheap TV, these are gonna eat up a lot of my budget. So I'm gonna use this one here, sizing it up. I put it on top of this shelf here from Dream Home Decorator. And I guess I'm gonna use Dream Home Decorator chairs here too. For some decor in here, I'm gonna add these, trying to go with like the modern look. And I'm gonna use this rug here from Eco Lifestyle. We're gonna add this coffee table here from Discovery University. And maybe we can do one of these lamps here from the book nook kit in the corner. And for decor, I'm gonna be using this over here. Okay, we're going for modern-ish. <laughs> Hoping I can come back and put a bookshelf over there, but looking at my budget, I don't know about that. Maybe we could do like a desk over in this corner, but like with no computer on it. We'll just add like a chair. Oh, this shelf is pretty cheap. I could put that right there. And you know what we could do just because we're going very minimal here? I feel like we should spice it up with some brighter wallpaper. Going with the pastel pop kit so very much fits our color scheme. I've pretty much accepted at this point that we're not gonna have much going on on the walls, so may as well go all out. Okay, right now, this is what my house is looking like. We're ready to go upstairs. And I think, again, I'm gonna go right to the bathrooms. So using only the cheapest of cheap toilets. Maybe this one can only have a sink in it. Like we'll do toilet and sink and save money on the shower. And the one over here will give a shower. So we'll have sink, toilet, shower in this one. Here, have a plant. The lack of the move objects is really getting me here. And that should be all the bathrooms in the house complete. Not done well, but they're done. The next important thing we're gonna need is a bed for each room. And maybe one of these can be a kid's room as well. So one of these can be a single bed. Maybe we'll do that one there. What do we have for cheap double beds? We could do the used futon in one. And then for this bedroom, we could do that and that matches my color scheme really well. I was saying this would be an office here, but I feel like we should do something cheaper. What do we have for cheap skill items? It could be a knitting room. 75 simoleons for this basket. I'll add this big desk that takes up like half the room with a chair, maybe some knitting stuff here as decor with our cheap like $10 plant. That plant looks so sad. Okay, knitting room looking cute for now. Honestly, in hindsight, this would be looking a lot more modern modern if I picked a more neutral color scheme, but you guys would be knowing like Jerry Springer would be up in here like that was a lie. <laughs> cringing that I called Maury Jerry Springer. I watch those shows every day after school. I should know better. I think we're safe to start furnishing some of the bedrooms here. We have all our essentials. I'm gonna start adding things like dressers. We can decorate with things a whole lot more. Ooh, let's add this mirror in this corner here. And we'll size up this fluffy rug in purple. Add some curtains. This room is actually giving teen room to me. So maybe it's like a single parent and a teen and a child living here. Oh, these are only five simoleons. I can size this up and maybe put that like along there or even just like down in the corner like that. And okay, is this as cluttered as I would want? No, but I also really don't hate the decor in here and I really like the color scheme in this room. We need to add something to this one. And this one is smaller, so it won't be too hard to fill this room up. I'm doing a hanging shelf 
over here with some clothes. We could do a cheap mirror right here. Even though we said this was for a parent, I'm still getting the vibe that this is for like a young family. Maybe this was a teen mom at one point. So the parent is very young, hence the pastel style. I have a couple pieces of art up there. We have a hanging plant. Over to this side, we've got some clothes acting as a closet and my mirror. Plus they have a balcony and a built-in bathroom. Like they're set over here. Next, we should probably furnish the kids room. They have no toys at all. I think I'm gonna do the hanging clothes again because it's cheap, it takes up a lot of room. So we're gonna put that stuff over here. I also really love this mirror, but it's 395 simoleons. We can do this one, it's cheaper, but it's still cute. I'm gonna grab the eco lifestyle curtains that I had. Maybe we move this bed over a little bit so that I can fit some toys over here. Okay, this guy's only 90 simoleons, we'll do a cat toy. Oh, maybe with this dollhouse also, or maybe this can go out here. Yeah, let's do that. Dollhouse here, cat there. <laughs> end table right here. Actually, that is so cute with this color scheme. We'll do the nightlight with maybe one of these cheap toys here. Like we could do the bus, maybe some bubbles and maybe like a calendar over here. I'm not gonna lie, this budget feels kind of endless. I've never used this egg and toast rug from high school years, but you know what? Today is the day. I am also kind of hungry influencing that decision, but I also really like it. Maybe this kid is a little messy. I'm adding some floor clutter over here and that's gonna be our kid's bedroom. They don't have the most most things to play with, but I mean, we got something. We got bubbles, we got a couple toys. We can always talk to the cat. And the dollhouse is out here. I should probably put something in this room next. Maybe this can be a kid play area. We can do a couple of these beanbag chairs, even some floor pillows, maybe in this corner here. Lamp. This is just gonna have to be good enough for our hallway because I have 956 simoleons left and I still have to add something to this room, which I kind of forgot about. You know what? We could add this shelf here. This has like blankets. Just kidding. It doesn't fit under my stairs. Oh, it does fit there though. How much is laundry? Not in my budget. Oh, we could get some cheap vacuums though, which can fit under the stairs. Okay. We're going to do a vacuum here. Maybe a garbage can when you're like cleaning out the dust. I don't really think I can get anything under these stairs without move objects. Oh, the trash can can actually go there. Okay. All right. We've got our cleaning room all figured out. We've got our vacuums there, a trash can and this here for decor, which has like pillows and blankets. We now have 360 one simoleons left to add to this floor. I feel like the living room could really use some help. This is kind of modern. I'm going to use that mirror on the wall there, maybe with a plant right here. Keeping in mind, I have to use every single dollar here. So, oh, these are kind of modern. I can put those right there. 41 simoleons. Okay, what can I afford? This might be kind of random, but I think I might put that up as decor in my living room or in the dining room. That takes up that whole wall. Kind of random, but it's fine. Is there anything worth 21 simoleons? I doubt it. I feel like things are normally like rounded off, which is gonna make this interesting. There is one weirdly priced thing and that's the sunscreen for eight simoleons. So what if I add that in somewhere random? Maybe like we do one on the edge of the bathtub here. Oh, and one outside on the balcony. And we only have five simoleons left and it's way easier to find something worth five simoleons. Oh, we have a mug. Okay, I'm gonna add this here as clutter. Just one little mug and there we go. Okay, is this as cluttered as I would like? Not even close, but we do have everything we're going to need for our Sims to survive. They could be well on their way to making more money. Honestly, all you need is like a couple more things in here. Like the top floor looks pretty fully furnished. We've got a couple empty spaces here, but nothing too crazy. I actually went back and changed the wallpaper on the first floor back to the stuff we originally had. I thought it made it look a little bit more modern than the bright wallpaper that I put. We've got the three Sims. We hit our budget, spent every dollar. I had to use my favorite colors, which are pastels. And here is our house again from the outside. I hope you guys like this build challenge. This is really difficult. Again, I'll link Flumbella's video down below along with the website that I used if you guys want to partake in this challenge as well. If you guys like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.